Welcome to this remote office, branch office, robo demonstration on how to install and manage multiple vSphere storage appliances from a single instance of vCenter server. This demonstration is a part of VSA 5.1 evaluation series of videos. Before we begin the actual VSA robo deployment, let's first take a quick look at the configuration of an already deployed VSA. In this example, we have an already deployed VSA on pod 13 DC. Now, our objective in this demonstration is to install and manage a new three-node VSA cluster in a different data center, but from the same vCenter server instance. We are going to do this in pod 22-DC. Before we start, it's important to note that the management IP addresses of the ESXi hosts in pod 22-DC are on a different subnet to the main vCenter server. This is a major enhancement from VSA 1.0 where the VSA server and the ESXi hosts forming the VSA cluster had to be on the same subnet. We must note here that the install steps for a robo deployment are the same as a centralized installation. Here, a host audit is run by the installer to verify that the three ESXi hosts we pick are compatible with the VSA. Next, we provide networking details for all VSA cluster members. We start by assigning the front-end and back-end VLAN IDs, as well as the back-end IP address. We can see here that various IP address information is automatically populated for the VSA cluster member, including its management IP address and its NFS, or data store IP address. A new feature of VSA 5.1 is its ability to select the subset of the local storage instead of all of the local storage. In this example, we'll set this selected VSA size to 100 gigabytes. Another new feature of VSA 5.1 is that there is increased security, such as using HTTPS or SSL for communication. So, before the installation can proceed, we must accept the VSA security certificates. Finally, we click the Install button to commence the installation of the VSA cluster. Installation is now complete. On the VSA Manager tab, we can see a full view of our VSA cluster. The initial view, the data stores view, shows us the VSA data stores. In the appliances view, we can see that each of the three ESXi hosts in our cluster presents a single NFS data store. The final management window we select is the map view. This view maps out the relationship between the various objects in the VSA cluster, including the ESXi servers, VSA appliances, and data stores along with their mirror copies. It's worth noting that the other hosts in the same data center, which are not part of the VSA cluster, also get NFS data stores mounted to them. This means that the compute power of VSA cluster can be scaled out to more than three hosts, although only the storage from just three ESXi hosts can be used in the cluster. As we have observed in this robo-deployment demonstration, we can manage multiple VSA instances from the same vCenter server. This concludes the VSA robo demonstration. Thank you.